I can see some really good potential for me in this car. Like that, that's pretty good. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7. We're staring down that beautiful Turn 14 Distributions Falcon Tires BRZ here in Forza Motorsports 7. Daijihara's livery. It is not a V8 twin turbo, but we're here to get this thing sideways today. Definitely been trying, wanting to try and get this car sideways. This is actually the Fast and Furious Edition Subaru BRZ. But before that, if you guys do notice that the camera looks a little bit different, the recording looks a little bit better, and the audio quality is a little bit different, that's because I finally got the Minimax set up. Elgato software running. Elgato Game Capture HD 60S. Recording all of this in 1080p as well as a 1080p Logitech webcam camera recording the wheel setup, snowball mic recording my audio. We are still using the Logitech uh, G920 with our 350mm Energy Innovations wheel with our AM Studios quick release adapters and boss adapter wheel adapter as well as our hydraulic handbrake. Logitech shifter in our energy innovations bucket seat So we're here today to try and get this thing sideways definitely wanted to try to build one of these and get these things sideways We did do a build on it already. So before we get into sliding this car, let's uh, Take a look at the two we are rocking that Subaru driver's gear as well for today's episode So let's go to cars um, Tunings and upgrades Take a look at the tune we have on here. Now, we may have to make some modifications to the tune. Of course, as always, this is just a basic tune starting. I haven't had much time to mess with this car or really drive it. So, we are running tire pressure 29.5, 828 in the back. Uh, we're leaving the gear ratio stock. We're running 3 degrees of camber in the front, 1 degree, 1.2 tow, 0.5, 1.5 caster. I think we're going to bump that up to 7. And we are not running any roll bars as I never do. We're going to soften the front a little bit and we do have it pretty soft we're running 3.6 in the front a little bit higher in the front a little bit lower in the rear dampeners are dropped down as well bump stiffness as well lower down for soft ride downforce we don't have any braking we just kicked the braking down to 65 percent left it at 50 50 we went 175 split on the diff so we're going to save the changes that we made we're going to hop into a single player session, free play, see if we can't get this car sideways. We're probably going to change up. I don't want to run the full circuit. We're going to run the small circuit, so we're just going to switch that to the... No, you know what? We'll run the full circuit. Screw it. We're going to run the full circuit, so we're going to go into race with this Subaru BRZ. We're going to take our drink off of our wheel setup so we do not spill that so if you guys are enjoying the new look of the videos um i hope you guys do it's you know been a long process in trying to get all this set up and going that's why there hasn't been too many videos recently been trying to get everything all set up and going with the new mics the you know elgato system the mini mac so it can record in 1080p as well as 1080p on the wheel setup. Definitely trying to step up the YouTube game here on this channel. So if there's something you guys want to see, let me know down in the comment section down below. But uh, I will be doing live streams as well. I have figured out the echo issue, I believe. So we'll be doing some more live streams, but I will be using the Elgato system now. So it will be in more 1080p as well. So uh, we're going to... We're going to send this. Uh, like I said, I haven't really driven this car, so um, this is going to be something to be said. I know this car just breaks traction. So we're going to see if we can't get this thing sideways. As you can see, it's just losing traction. We're going to kick it in, send it in, load it on the brakes, load it on the handbrake. There we go. Like I said, this is not a V8. This is the stock Fast and Furious motor. And I think, I think it's not too bad right now. Oh, it's definitely a handful. I can tell you that for sure. Ooh, don't lose it. I thought I was gonna overshoot that turn. We're gonna 
settle down. See, this thing just blasts the tires loose. If those tires are all hot, this thing just will blast them loose. This thing sounds so amazing, though. Look at that. Just a <laughs> it just wants to light it up in fourth gear. All right, here we go. Kick it in. Try not to wreck the car. I don't think we're gonna be able to hold that. No, no, don't go. Don't wreck the car. Oh, oh. We did not wreck the car. We saved the car. You know, Dai Ishihara was nice enough to let us borrow his Turn 14 Distribution's BRZ. You know, not his competition car, because his comp car, you know, is a V8 Twin Turbo, which we might do. But, uh, this car does sound so nasty. We're gonna kick it again. A little flick, a little e-brake to kick it sideways. Gotta be easy on the throttle with this car. This car is definitely a handful. It will come out and bite you if you're not careful. I'm trying everything I can not to wreck this car. And just a tap. We should be okay. We didn't wreck it too bad, did we? I think we're good. So glad we did not wreck this car. We may have to change the grip level. I think I'm running sport tires, but this thing just, it sounds sick. Definitely a lot of fun, but this thing is a handful. As you can see, I'm all on this wheel right now. And it may be my setup. I may have a really bad setting or something on this. My phone is blowing up right now with the Instagram posts. I do have a phone holder now on the wheel setup. Uh, one of the subscribers in my last tune mentioned, or my last live stream mentioned, I don't have a phone holder. Well, uh, I do now. Got a phone holder right here holding out my, uh, my iPhone right there. So, um, I think we're going to have to tweak this settings a little bit, but this thing is quick. It just gets up and goes when you want it to. No problem with tire spin on this thing. Let's change up views. I was doing better drifting in first person last time, so let's see what this car does in first person. Let's kick it in. I stalled it. I'm running too close to that wall. Don't die. Jeez. I'm really surprised we haven't wrecked this car yet, to be quite honest with you. All right, here we go. Kick it sideways. Kick it in. There we go. It sounds pretty sweet inside, but ah, I'm definitely not in my element with this car. Definitely not like my Alpha Tune, which is, uh, in the words of another subscriber, Alpha Tune is lit. There we go. Nice flick. Nope, we're gonna wreck it. Oh, and there it is. And yep. Sorry, die. Uh, I didn't mean to wreck your car, but uh, it's bound to happen sooner or later. We we're not going to go an entire episode without wrecking a car, especially a car that we're still trying to get handling on. Listen to that blow off valve. There we go. That's not bad. A little hood, hood action. Uh, let's try this, this in-car view. Maybe the steering wheel was messing with my head, because that is my biggest pet peeve about first person, is the steering wheel only goes 90 degrees in Forza. Ooh, right on that outside edge. And then I lose it. I looked away for half a second to check the audio levels on the Ogata to make sure everything is okay, and uh, I broke it. I broke the car. So I think we're gonna finish this lap off. And maybe tweak some settings a little bit. Maybe lower some tire pressures a little bit to help with how much wheel spin it's getting. And then uh, change up track and uh, go from there. So we're gonna switch it all up now. Just because I feel like a little bit of a change. gonna go to tuning settings grab the controller instead 
gonna drop the tire pressures down to 27 and let's go with 25 and then we're gonna change up tracks feeling like uh, feeling like Dubai mountain circuits a good idea no not Daytona Dubai Dubai circuit Dubai mountain circuit let's uh, yep let's do it Dubai mountain circuit modified the tire pressures just a little bit so I hope you guys are enjoying this episode in the uh, new recording style if there's anything you guys think I should change maybe the audio level is a little bit off uh, let me know down in the comment section down below uh, but like I said so glad to have the Elgato, you know, HD60S with, you know, live streaming available. So that's going to be happening as well. The snowball mic for better audio quality on my end. The HD camera so you guys can see the wheel cam in full HD. And uh, my horrible drifting in this BRZ because, you know, that makes this episode so much better. But this is probably the hardest drift car that I've ever tried to drift in Forza 7 so far. I think. Kick it in. Tire pressure changes. Seems to be helping. Just tap. And we're already tapping. Already wall tapping this car. Here to buy. Definitely got power to go on the uphill sections. That's not a problem. Feather the throttle. There we go. It's just got to be easy on the throttle. I think I'm so used to my other underpowered cars because I think this thing is running almost 700 horsepower. I tried to save it. Over 700 horse. Um, it's fully tuned up, fully modified. Um, I think I'm used to the cars that are running 500 and 600 horse where I can kind of stay mad on the throttle. This one I gotta, you know, modulate the throttle a lot more. So it's a different, it's different for me, but I think we're getting the hang of it a little bit. It's definitely a handful. Definitely a, a definitely a good challenge for me right now. Breaking out of the normality of you know just being able to map the throttle through the turns. Now I you know gotta play with the throttle, get a little bit more precise on my throttle foot, which right there is a testament to it's possible. This car is possible to drift. Uh, is it a handful? Oh yeah, this car is definitely a handful. Would I recommend this for a beginner drifter? Hell, heck no. But it's definitely a lot of fun. Gonna try to be work with this car a little bit more because I can see some really good potential for me in this car. Like that, that's pretty good. When I get it, I get it. When I get it, I get it. Definitely, uh, when I have the right throttle position, you know, the right angle of the steering, the counter, it's there. There we go, see, right there, nice and smooth. Play the throttle a little bit, not too much correction on the wheel. Not a lot of angle, but it's a long sweeper, see? So I got it. Yup. Definitely excited about that, heck, hell yeah, that was good. So, I know you guys are probably saying, oh man, that was really low angle, that was crap, rabbit, what are you doing? But, you know what? I challenge you to try to drift one of these. I heard from a subscriber that this is probably one of the hardest cars to drift in Forza 7. Now, whether that's true or not, or maybe it's just hard for him, I'm not sure. But I can definitely say this is no easy feat. This car is something in itself. Ooh, there we go, but... We're, we're taming the beast right now. What I like to see with this car is like a, the turbo V8. Oh, yeah. Full Dayoshihara build. That'd be sweet. Maybe do that in a later episode. Do a full Dayoshihara build as much as we can, as much power as we can throw into this car. Oh, curb check. But we saved it. Woo! Almost went in the third instead of fifth. Look, I caught that. Kick it in. There we go. So, this car definitely rips. I'm having a lot of fun with this car right now. Oop, just tap. Excuse me. So, if you guys want to see more videos like this, 
drifting cars that I wouldn't normally drift. That was nice. That was good. Can I link it? Too fast, too fast, too fast. Just tap. I could tell that was too fast as soon as I threw it in. If you guys want to see more videos like this, maybe you guys have a car that you want to challenge me to try and build and drift. Let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe you guys got a tune for this car. If you do, throw me your gamer tag in the comments as well as the name of the tune or name it, you know, EVL or something on those lines and I will give the tune a shot, you know, showcase it on a later episode. Oh, jeez. Definitely always like driving other people's tunes to see what other people are working with. So if you have a tune for this Fast and Furious BRZ, i definitely like to give it a shot see how it differs from mine. Uh, maybe you guys know a setting change that I'm not doing that would help me out a lot. Definitely always looking for feedback from the drift community and subscribers as well. Ooh, almost broke my wrist there. I don't really think I need to grab the handbrake as much as I do in this car. This car, like right there, this thing just rips. I bet you I could just clutch kick it. Yup. Don't need to grab the handbrake nearly as much in this car as I do in any of the other cars. There we go, a little clutch kick brake. So, yup. Are we gonna link this whole section? That would be sick. That was full lock, but we're still going. Yes. Oh, that was awesome. I think I may end it on that note because that was sick. Probably just gonna finish this two minutes off here at Dubai. Definitely having a lot of fun with this car. Probably would definitely not recommend drifting this car on a style, you know, stock standard uh, Logitech wheel. You definitely need a bigger rim for this. Unless you have a better tune. Let's see if we can do it this time. Nope, that's gonna hurt. Wait, how did we, how did we save that? How did we not wreck that? All I did was e-break it. This car, once you get it, you get it. When you put this car down and you can get that run, that throttle response down and the angle, this car rips like that. Probably not where I wanted to be, a little jump drift. I mean, it's got the angle to save itself when it goes into a situation like that. If that's definitely for sure. So you guys know you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. I uh, definitely look forward to doing some more live streaming here with subscribers on Forza Motorsport 7, Forza Horizon 3, PUBG, and such like that. Going to be digging, getting into some new games here very, very soon with having the other computers set up for Assetto and Assetto Mods. Just haven't got a chance to get that fully running how I want it. So we'll be doing a setto on the PC, a setto mods on the channel very soon. But definitely gonna probably be hopping back onto a setto on the Xbox One as well. Getting a lobby going with that. Ooh. Gonna be trying some new games here in the future. So I think that's gonna do it here for me here on Forza Motorsport 7 in Daoshihara's Turn 14 Distributions, Subaru BRZ. And we're going to end it there. So until next time, guys, I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out.